Good afternoon, this is Todd Colvin coming to you from the floor of the CME Group. We are looking at metals and gold prices. After putting in a recent low on Monday, saw a nice rally higher, sort of propelling the metal, uh, maybe even generating some bullish sentiment. We saw about a 2% rally from the lows Monday to the to the settlement on Friday. And, and essentially, the, the, with the way the market's been trading, uh, you know, go back, going back to April, all the momentum has been to the downside. This is the first real bounce we've seen in some time. So right now, the market's sort of trying to build a little bit of of uh, positive momentum around the 1200 level. We did settle above that today, and it looks to me like we're gonna, we're gonna probably see the, the gold be more reactive here, uh, but it could look to be gaining some bullish momentum as inflation talks come back into play, as oil prices go up. And I think that ultimately there's the uncertainty that we're seeing, not only with higher rates, but with equities, it's gonna start to, you're gonna start to see gold buyers come back uh, while, the spe while the speculators have been short as of, as of late, I think that ultimately we're going to start to see some of those some of those switch back. We'll talk about that in a second. And the dollar, which was also stronger, so again, the dollar and gold not, not really following the textbook rule. Uh, the dollar was stronger, obviously strong data in the U.S. We're seeing more uh, aggressive, higher yields in the U.S. We're seeing potential for higher, more hawkish uh, monetary policy in the U.S. All that is feeding into the dollar. It got its its second highest close, I think, since July of 17, the second highest of this year, and that, a weekly close, I should say. And that is really what, you know, the dollar is really continuing to show strength. Now, it has been an adverse uh, adversary of gold going back to April, but as of late, it's sort of separated. So right now, the dollar going on its path, the gold on its on its path, both of them moving higher late in the week here uh, to settle on weekly highs. And lastly, Let's look at the positioning in metals and gold specifically. Uh, the spec shorts were you know, loaded up. And when we got to those lows, my suspicion is, is that they turned around and covered. And they were the reason why we saw this, this rally, this fueling of the rally. Because while, yes, there, there are fundamentals behind the move in gold, I think that the positioning is also helping it. And the uncertainty and the inflation and what's going to happen down the road. I think that right now, the, with, with the dollar and gold separating, it makes, it makes a, a very s a smart move to be buying gold here on these lows. Uh, looking for an extension higher. There's some talk that gold kept back up to 1300 Maybe not by year end, but by first quarter of next year, and that would be a big move. So right now, gold finding a little bit of hope, seeing some bullish momentum. Can it sustain it into next week is going to be the question. But if speculators flip from spec short to back to spec long, I think they can. This is Todd Colvin coming to you from the floor of the CME Group.